Well, after years languishing at the bottom of the National League tables, over 80% of Bristol schools have been rated good or outstanding by the school inspectors, Ofsted. It follows a series of visits carried out in June. Head teachers say this should reassure parents that Bristol schools are getting better. Charlotte Callan reports. For parents, picking a primary or secondary school can be a daunting prospect, especially if you live in Bristol. Just five years ago, in 2009, nearly half the schools in the city were classed as struggling by Ofsted. They're the organisation in charge of monitoring standards in schools. So in June, with a third of schools still classed as underperforming, they conducted a week-long swoop on 15 primaries and secondaries to see if things are really getting better. And with all the reports now in, it's a reassuring picture for children, parents and teachers in Bristol. Ten were found to have improved their rating to either good or outstanding. Four schools have stayed the same and only one, Eastern C of E Primary, dropped and is now classed as inadequate. If there was an award for Endeavour, it should surely go to the pupils and teachers here at the Bristol Brunel Academy. It was rated good for the first time in the school's history. It replaced the old Speedwell Technology College in 2007 when it was officially opened by the Prime Minister, Gordon Brown. It means a great deal to the, the teaching staff and the support staff here. I think it gives them a professional confidence that the school can continue to move forward. Um, but for the students it means that they come to an academy that can actually mean something to them and can unlock the future for them. The nervous wait is now on for pupils getting their GCSE and A-level results over the coming weeks. Good grades will help to reassure parents that the city's state schools really are getting better. Charlotte Callan, BBC Points West, Bristol.